All right, all right. Why not play this game, man? Because as much as the you know the last time I did talk shit about the um, the connections, like they are playable. The connections in this game are generally playable. It's just oh god damn, there's a lot of people. Okay, well let's join the air juggle stream then. Does anybody actually watch this? I don't think anybody actually watches this. But the majority, I should like I said, I was gonna join. Oh, it's actually not. As Usually there's like four or five people all sitting in here playing this shit. Uh, but yeah, there's no. I mean, the um. Damn, 64 and 7. This brother is going in. Um, the connections in this game are generally playable. It's just, you know, if you get used to offline, it's very difficult to transition properly to online. Um, but that's kind of... I'm not planning on playing offline anytime soon. And if I can't find matches in Blaze Blue, I may as fucking well play in this game, right? Right? It was just the only connection that was like truly on. Well, actually, both the European connection, which was obvious, and that player match room we joined. But the other two were like, the connection wasn't terrible. It was just, I'm not used to this. This online is it's not great. Everybody knows it's not great, but it's something you can get used to and adjust to in general. You know, you're never gonna be doing your most ideal shit all the time, but you can, like I said, you can adjust to it and make it work. And it's kind of the same thing with Blaze Blue, where like I think in Blaze Blue in general, I'm gonna kind of just stop picking Asriel, because if I ever do get back into an offline community at all, Asriel would be the character that I would that I would want to use, and I would only develop bad habits from picking that character online versus uh, playing him offline. Like it just it doesn't work out unless online is like on point. It's just the same shit doesn't translate. The same shit that works online isn't gonna work offline. And the same shit that, you know, the frame tight setups that you do offline, you're not gonna be really capable of doing 100% of the time online. And it's not worth risking uh, fucking up all of your timing in order to um, uh, get that shit down tight online. And that's all you'll do. It's, it's kind of the same thing as playing like offline modes. I would say the worst one would be, uh, whatever it's called, Abyss Mode. Abyss Mal. Whatever, I think, it, actually, isn't that all it's called? It's called Abyss Mode? Uh, using that because your character ends up being faster, has more jumps, does way more damage. Like, you just get used to using them in that fashion, and it fucks you up when you go to use them in a normal fashion. And it's the same thing with online and offline. It's just, it's a night and day scenario. And it's the, the same shit really... Well, it depends on the character you use, I would say. Or at least the depth of the problems depends on the characters you use. So, like, with Tager, I wouldn't really be all that worried about fucking up my timing online versus offline because he doesn't really have anything that requires that, like frame tight timing on trap stuff it's all everything you do with tagger is reads and you know reads are the same online or offline it's just you may be off by a half second and you may go like too early or too late because of online and you're just not ready for that scenario but this game i'm definitely not about to get into offline anymore i'm just i'm not i've already mentioned it long ago when i was actually still actively playing this game that i am just not interested in the way this game has developed tournament wise anymore it's just not fun that was sick granted everything i'm going to see from uh, like an effective four and if this dude has 60 like a 12 game win streak right now 65 wins and seven losses he's gonna have a good four well that wasn't good that should have been punished what Damage! Thor does damage! Thor has combos! This is fun. I'm glad I did this. I don't even care about playing. I just want to spectate this dude. <laughs> oh, I love this. That's so fun. And then he just falls the rest of the way. Ah! Thor is so fun! Oh, well, don't teabag. The taunt's cool, but the teabag is just being a bitch. You know what would be fucking hilarious? And broken as hell. 
What if you could do his mighty speech at the end of a round, and if you held it down, like it just it just stayed there. Like no matter what you did, it just stayed. It let it go. If the purse, if the person using Thor held it down, it would go the full time of like one revolution of mighty speech. You're just sitting there for like an extra 15 seconds after the round is over, just listening to Thor do his mighty speech. I'll be right back, I'm hearing things. That was strange. I, mean, I guess it was just my dog, but I heard like a thump. And my dog doesn't do things that would cause a thump? I don't know. Damn, are we really- did I really leave you guys with this? I left you guys to sit here all alone. So let's so while we wait for all this shit to work out. I got myself, finally, a new iPod. Although it's going now, finally. Uh, I ended up having to buy a new one because I just like I got two used ones from GameStop and it just it didn't fucking work out. That was a, it was a poor decision, but I figured you know they have an iron tight return policy, so like if it doesn't work out, then fuck it. Let's just, oh, that was a sick confirm. Yo, these teams are sick. Oh, how did you not punch that, bro? Oh, don't blow up yourself. And they did, I ended up, uh, I ended up returning, well, I returned the first one and I had to spend an extra $13, I guess, uh, to return it. I mean, I did still, they still got money from me. Well, UPS got some money. No, I guess UPS got all the money, huh? Because I had to pay for two shippings. So there's no way that works. Is that, no way, is he gonna, oh. I thought he was gonna be able to, like, the wave would combo. And then the ball would make it over there, and that would combo, and then he would be able to, like, teleport over to Dormammu. I was expecting... I was expecting significantly more godliness than I ended up actually getting. Which is ironic, because there's two gods on the screen right now playing. <laughs> um... But yeah, oh my god, that bitch slap! But so I ended up returning the second, which is returning it for good. The first one I had to ship back by UPS and pay the shipping costs on that. Why would you hit another button? And so I did end up losing, I guess, like $30 on the deal for shipping to me initially and shipping it back to them to get a replacement. But then I ended up just being able to take it back to my local GameStop and trading it in for um, store credit. And I just paid off Persona 4 Arena and most of Dragon Age Inquisition with that, so that's cool. Uh, so I ended up buying a new one and I got, because they don't sell the classic new anymore and I'm just, after getting two used ones that didn't work, I was not about to buy another used one. Um, so I just bought a new iPod Touch and it's literally like, I, granted I don't have an iPhone so I don't know all the functionality that shit has, but to me I'm pretty sure that has all the functionality of an iPhone except for the lack of actual phone features. But, like, it has everything else. You can download apps on it. You can, like, take video uh, with it. You can take photos with it. Like, let me actually, let me just check out this menu right here. I'll slide to unlock it the fuck out of here. It's passcode protected. Oh, and you can actually, one thing that's actually really cool, it has a speaker built into it. So, like, if I don't have headphones, I can actually just listen to it without headphones and it just plays. The sound quality is not that good, but still, it's kind of cool. Let me see, FaceTime, which is apparently some app where you can like record yourself and then somebody else is like recording themselves, and so I don't even, I don't actually know what it is, because you have to connect to Wi-Fi and I have not connected this to Wi-Fi yet. Photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, video, notes, reminders, stocks, game center, ooh, it's actually in my game center. Newsstand, iTunes store, app store, iBooks, passbook, health, Settings, Messages, Mail, Safari Browser, and then finally in the very bottom fucking right corner, Music. The thing I bought this damn thing for and it takes up 
like a 20th of the screen all by itself in the bottom corner. Let's check out, let's check out what kind of games I have though. I haven't looked at that yet. Um, I'm pressing you, there we go. Blank white screen. How exciting is that? There isn't even like, this is loading right now icon. It's literally just a blank white screen. Cool, that was, that was enjoyable. Fun for, all, fun for the whole family right there. Great. It, it fucked me up the first day of using it because the uh, the headphone jack is on the bottom versus, you know, the old iPods, the headphone jack is on the top. And so every single time I would just, you know, grab it from where I'm not even paying attention to God like Lord. Every time I would grab it and turn it around where, you know, the headphone jack is the up position. And oh my god, is he gonna get the full? Oh, that was. If you. It's too bad your timing sucks. Otherwise, that might have been cool. <laughs> yeah, I kept lifting it upside down and just being like, ah, damn it, I'm stupid. For an entire day. Never ended. Wow, life sucks. Wow, life. It's still going. That's bullshit. Gloria, that took off. That was legitimately a good, like, 700,000 damage. Oh, that sucks that he took that hit. The ball went away. Man, don't make me play a bullet hell more again! At least let me get blown the fuck up by a god like Thor! Oh, no, he's fucked. This dude is fucked. He's out of meter now. That was stupid. Yeah, he's, he's done. He's done. You're not doing an X Factor list. Doing not against somebody with a uh, Strider assist. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, he's just taunting. Man, you're making me fight against a bullet hell Morrigan right away. A teabagging taunting bullet hell Morrigan. Well, prepare to see Nate Aristata get perfected. What did I just do? I just unplugged my computer. Stupid loose cable. These people, like, I have a feeling that the majority of the online, especially in a, in a lobby like this, they just all know each other. And they're all just trolling each other and making each other wait and shit. Because goddamn, they made everybody wait hella long. So who should... I don't even know. Like, I'm going to get bodied. There are no characters that I can pick right now where I am not just going to get flat out bodied. And this is such a scrubby team, too. Like, this is... I can't play any characters that require anything good anything hard so I'm pick this team <laughs> oh damn it see I got I got a hit shit all these are meant to be push blocks and I can't push block damn that actually did I thought I was good like I know anything about timing. I don't get hit. I was blocking high. Well, that was fun. I grabbed. Thanks for the grab. Fuck it. Fuck it then. Damn. Oh, I thought I could tank one more and then land on the ground in X Factor. Yeah, yeah, just teabag me. No, I didn't. That sucks. I got the hit with Akuma, and I thought she would fall further. I could have killed her, could have finished her off, could have had a real match! And I fucked it all up right at the beginning. And now we're in the back of the line. Yay. <laughs> we're not even going to see me play again. 
I mean, that's what you get when... That's the kind of situations you find yourself in when you're not solid in a game. Especially a game like this one. I got my... I had one chance to make that an even fight with a player that was significantly better than me by just taking out Morrigan and then dealing with Strider and Doom. And I dropped it because I was not solid in this game. Yeah, Morrigan's a bullshit character. Can we talk about how this dude has better, this like nobody, this online nobody that I've never heard of has better Morgan combos than every other Morgan I've ever seen? Can we just talk about that for a second? Because what the fuck? Like what Morgan have you ever seen? Now granted, you know, Chris G is winning tournaments without these combos, so there's only so much shit you can talk about it. But still, like, I've never seen him use Shadow Blade in a combo. Well, Shadow Blade to continue a combo. Now, you know, obviously, Shadow Blade into missiles, everybody's seen. Oh, that's dirty as fuck. Wow, and he has Strider in there, too. That was way too... Oh, wait, no, is that his... Oh, no, no, he doesn't have Strider. Aw. I was about to say, this is dude's awesome. He's got Viper combos, but then he dropped it. I don't know about that. He might be able to do this. What am I watching right now? Who are these people? Oh, you don't. Oh, no, no, never mind. You don't fucked up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Good fucking luck blocking all of Oros. X Factor 3. Oh, that could have hit if he just delayed it a second longer. Yeah, that was too much, too obvious. Can he finish this? Oh, no, he's doing this up. Stop air dashing so much, you're gonna get grabbed again! Your Sea Viper was so impressive, don't be so bad with Amy! Instant overhead, man! Come on! Aw, oh, no, you're Aw, that boo- that dude dead. Boo boo dead. He dead. They all dead. See, he had his chance too, but he doesn't have- he, he has a Viper! Sure as hell doesn't have an Amy. That was like... I was like watching my Nova, except Nova's more effective at it. <laughs> like, if I have to be perfectly honest. Just air dashing way too high and throwing Glaive normals around. That's never gonna fucking work. Being able to get meter while in whatever her mirror form is, they, people still claim that's balanced. I never did understand that. I, I don't understand how people can do that. How can this dude have, like, such complicated Morrigan combos, but this dude has no Strider combos? Look at this shit. This dude has Meter Drain combos, but he can't do a combo with Strider? How do you put in that much time with one character and then no time with another one? It's like watching Chris G all over again. 
Like, watching Chris G's Virgil is just painful. It is, like, the most basic day one Virgil in the world, but day one Virgil is just that effective. Yo, use the... Oh, he doesn't have a meter. That sucks. That homie did. That homie did. That was pretty cool. I don't know why you would ever use Soul Fist Assist with Morgan instead of Meter. But especially when you have characters like, you know, Dante gets so much from Devil Trigger, Morgan gets so much from her special form. And then obviously, you know, all else fails, you got Strider with Ouroboros. Why would you not have the Meter Assist when me like, Meter is vital to that team? You know who the one character I wish I had just like played and stuck with from the beginning? Trish. I think Trish is good. I think she good. But she's just underplayed. I guess the problem is too is that she would like... I guess she kind of gets... She doesn't do favorably against missiles and when everybody and their mother uses missiles I guess that's a problem. She, I wonder if she can get above them. I don't know why I'm trying to think of, like, effective things to do. Like, I'm not going to play this game enough to learn new characters. I don't even know how to play the characters I used to know how to play. How am I going to learn new characters? I'm literally only here and staying here because watching these players is awesome. Not here for me. By like you would think using Tron would have you learning how to block due to the nature of the character and not exactly having the best neutral game in comparison to the majority of the cast. That sucks. That sucks even more. I was about to be excited for that working, but nah. She holds OTG is too slow. Hey, so remember when Dominion told everybody the answer to Morgan was four? Remember that? I remember that. Good times. It turned out to be very true. There are so many Thors out there now in order to counterpick this character. It's ridiculous. Dude knew exactly what he was talking about. How was there not like a command grab set up in there somewhere? Oh, that's. There's no way this is all gonna work with. Okay, I was just gonna say, like, Tron fucks all of those, like, happy birthday stuff up. There's no way this is gonna work. All that work. All that work. All of that work. She might still live. I don't know. Why would you? Oh, I guess it preserves X Factor level three Strider. That was a poor idea. See, like that. Surely this homie could have killed him without X without using meter, and he would have got Ouroboros. I guess it's irrelevant now. Okay, so it's not irrelevant now. It's so weird to be like so impressed. But, like every single one of these players has one character I'm impressed by, and then they suck with the rest of them. That's so weird. Okay, I think I'm two matches away. We're gonna get to see me one more time before it's all over. Before I go 0 and 2. Because I'm so good, I should totally be winning all of the matches. They're back. I just started tapping out the beat to Macarena. <laughs> that came from left field. That's the same thing as, like, just a couple days ago. I, uh... I woke up and for some reason that uh the song 
by from Fern Goalie by Robin Williams, the like the where he raps is the bat. My name is Bate, and then I don't know the rest. I just know like random lines in there. Just randomly woke up with that stuck in my head. Like out of fucking nowhere. I haven't seen Fern Goalie since I was a kid. The fight is on. Bring it up. Go for broke. Doom missiles, he actually has a really effective way of getting away from that. Because with missiles and oh body. With missiles and um with missiles and strider. Jesus Christ, I can't think of what's that. Can't you remember what that move is called? Why would you why wouldn't you just beam that? Fucking unfly. That's the one frame unfly. But all he has to do is block Strider and then jump up and he's pretty much good. Because like there none of the fireballs are gonna hit him. Unless he tags in Dante, that was smart. And then like it's, it's just so strange. It's so Doctor Strange. Oh, he kept mashing, he caught mashing! Oh, and he preserved some of the ball. How smart. Ouch. Oh, he could have fallen that out. Probably wouldn't have gotten the meter kill. It's just... I just don't understand how you can have so... Like, this dude's got bullet hell down. He's got Morrigan combos down. But he can't do Dante or Strider combos at all. He has neither of those. How do you spend that much time on one character and absolutely none on the rest? Damn, he almost caught him with that Shadow Blade. I like how that one fireball just got rid of all but two missiles. God damn, her fireballs are so good. Ooh, that dude does damage. Oh, he's fucked. There's no way Morgan can do enough damage to matter. Like, he can just, he, literally, he can just, like, actually, I guess up back is better. I was gonna say he could down back, but then he can end up getting hit by, like, Shell Kick or something. But yeah, there's no way Morgan can do enough damage. Even X Factor. To matter. She can't do that much. Yay! I get to deal with, uh, asshole teabagger. But at least it's not Morgan. Whatever, it's Marvel. If you get into Marvel and you're not expecting to be teabagged or taunted at some point in time, you're playing the wrong game. You do not understand Marvel. Do people even still get offended by that? All I have to do is remember the memory. I, pl I played in this tournament one time. Uh, and I played this dude that used it was the very beginning of Ultimate's life so it was when everybody was you know under the impression that level 3 X-Factor Wesker was the most bullshit thing ever and that's what he did he just had Wolverine Sentinel Wesker man I just don't know like can I just big body this dude nah big body this dude not a good idea fuck it let's just pick let's just pick this shit again whatever I'm ineffective with it, but I'm ineffective with everybody. Um, and this dude beat me the first time around because I lost. Uh, I was using Nova Frank Hawkeye, 
I was still using that team. And he beat me the first time because I got a I got a happy birthday with Frank. And instead of getting um I can't remember exactly what I did. What was it that happened? I know it was I got fucked on my inputs. Oh that's right, I tried to DHC into Frank to get a kill off. I tried to DHC from Gimlet into shopping cart. And I ended up getting his anti-air grab instead. And he X-Factor Weskered me from that point on, and then he teabagged me at the end, and I was like, oh, okay. And I double perfected him following that. All I gotta remember is that memory. Oops. Shout out to that Puma Call being godlike. How the fuck? I don't even know how to fucking respond to that. How the fuck? Oh, I got punished. How did he block that? That makes me mad. Uh oh. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm fucked. Teleport? Nope. I didn't change the block fast enough. What? What? I don't even know how I got hit by the majority of those hits. Like, they weren't mix-up, they were just there. I don't know. I don't know. But that's that's our loss. That's what we lost to. His, the connection did feel iffy at the beginning there. And he is obviously somewhere south of here. I know that's a South America flag, but I don't know exactly where that is. Oh, there may be a Central America. It's, it's somewhere south of Mexico. So I don't know how far away that is. But anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that ass beating.